Mary Jane. Go to the beach? Are you kidding? <laughs> well, it sounds wonderful, but I have to work. Yes, on a Saturday, yes. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not fair, comparing Mr. Mooney to Simon Legree. <laughs> no, no, I'm not defending Mr. Mooney. I'm defending Simon Legree. <laughs> no, I can't sneak away because Mr. Mooney's working right here with me. Yeah, he just went out to get me a sandwich. Take him to the beach with us? Are you kidding? All he thinks about is work, 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 not having any fun. Of course, it might be very nice taking him to the beach and burying him in the sand head first. <laughs> I think I hear the old slave driver coming. Bye. <laughs> you needn't listen at the door, Mr. Mooney. Come on in. I'm working. <laughs> I was not listening at the door. And how come you heard what I said? <laughs> Here's your sandwich. Thank you. That will be 35 cents. Uh, well, maybe I can put it on my expense account. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Moon. Don't, don't, don't start eating it yet. There's 20 minutes before lunchtime. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, now, I have another letter I want you to take down. It's very important. But I haven't even finished these yet. Well, just yet. forget that. Forget that for the moment. Now, this is to Jones, Jones, and Becker. Dear sirs, in regard to that contract you referred to in your letter of oh. the fourth... What, what's, what's the matter? Writer's cramp. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, now, if you'd like to rest, Mrs. Carmichael, we can take a two-minute break. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I really don't see why we have to work on a Saturday. We have to work on Saturday because of all the time you wasted on Friday. What do you mean, wasted? A secretary is entitled to a lunch hour, isn't she? From 11 a.m. to 3 p.m.? <laughs> oh, all right, so I took a long lunch hour. It was only because I missed the morning coffee break. That was because you got to work so late, the coffee break was over. <laughs> no, that's not true, Mr. Oh, yes, Mooney. It is. You're no, just always because late. You, you know doesn't mean you, that that's you true. Can... Mrs. Carmichael, I don't want to get angry with you because I do appreciate the fact that you agreed to let me come over here and work in your apartment today. Oh, that's all right. Hmm. I just... Still can't understand why they don't give you a key to the bank. They won't even give me a key to the washroom. <laughs> <laughs> that. Excuse me. Oh, good morning, Joe. Good morning. Five cents due on this one. Oh, okay, okay. Must be a letter from my son, Jimmy. How can you tell? Well, he writes to me all the time from school, but he won't spend any of his allowance on stamps. <laughs> there you are. Thanks a lot, Joe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's from my son, Jimmy, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Dear Mom, our school has a new rule where we have to write at least one letter home every week. This is it. <laughs> Yours truly, your son, Jimmy Carmichael. P.S. If you don't get this letter, let me know so I can write another one. <laughs> Isn't that adorable, Mr. Mooney? It's adorable, but it's not worth a nickel. <laughs> Well, shall we get back to work now? Yes, yes sir. As soon as I read this other letter, my goodness, this looks official. Oh. It's from the United States government. Oh. Oh, no! This is unbelievable! They want you to pay more income tax. No, worse than that. Nothing can be worse than paying more income tax. <laughs> yes, it can. I've been drafted. You've been what? Drafted. Oh, that's ridiculous. Let me see that. There must be a mistake. We oh, well, of course. Now, this isn't addressed to Lucy Carmichael. It's addressed to Lou C. Carmichael. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Had me worried for a second. Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. What are you doing? I'm throwing it away. You can't throw away a letter from the United States government. Well, for heaven's sake, it's an obvious mistake. Well, I realize that, but you can't just ignore it. 
Now, we'll have to go down to the induction center and get this straightened out right away. Oh, no. This is ridiculous, drafting a woman. Well, I agree with you. It's silly. It's silly. But we can't ignore this. Now, we have got to go down and straighten it out. When they find out that you're a woman, I'm sure it'll all be settled. Well, I hope so. Do you think I'm going to have to go through a lot of red tape? And Well, I know something about military matters. I'll go along with you. Oh, well, thank you very yeah. much. Now, you come Sweeney. along now, right away. Hurry up. Gosh, uh, imagine a thing like that. Yes. Imagine putting me in the army. Don't worry. You'll never pass the physical. 